Right, so... I didn't think I would have much to talk about here, but I think I have a reasonable amount. So, this book's about a failed novelist called Richard and his vendetta against his successful friend Gwyn, who, well, who everyone close to him thinks is a, a shit writer. Richard is quite envious because he thinks his books are far deeper and far more deserving of praise than Gwyn's, but his recent book that, you know, came out during uh, the story, you know, gave everyone some kind of injury, or at least that's what they used as an excuse as to why they hadn't read it. Okay, so... Originally I thought this book would just be a little kind of compendium of small insights that, you know, you thought, oh, oh yeah, and then basically forgot about. But there is a bit more there. Um, there were kind of little interludes about the solar system which seem unconnected to the story, but no doubt they're about how trivial and stupid everything that Richard's doing is, and basically everyone. Um, and one, like the bit that kind of changed my mind about the book was near the end where Amos writes about Gwyn's book. Um, oh, I should tell you about that. Gwyn's book is a utopia about these people who create a little community outside of everything and everything goes well. And that's it. So. He sought to represent the universe only to the extent that a sensible person had any use for it. Um, this is why it was so wildly popular, obviously. People want to reduce their world down to you know, what immediately affects them. They don't have to worry about any of the wider issues and that. Or maybe if they do, they'll just donate to a charity and then forget about that. You know, they think, oh, everything's sorted now, I've donated. Um, and the focus on the small things throughout the book is part of this. And ironically, Richard is exactly the same as everyone else who adores uh, Gwyn's book. Um, and I think that's basically what it's about, you know. Um, I almost went off into a, a little rant there that was totally unconnected, but I'll, I'll, I'll spare you that unless you really want to hear it. Um, I reckon that's all I really have to say. I mean, it's not its not an uplifting book, it's amusing, certainly. Um, I don't think it's depressing, but maybe that's just me. It is, well, the subject matter is quite depressing, I guess, and cynical, uh, just like the main character. Uh, but I think you could get something out of it. Um, it's not the best in the world. It's not the worst. It's above average. And the writing style is um, obviously influenced by American writers. He even uses American words sometimes, which is quite disconcerting. But, yeah. If you want to read it, then nothing's stopping you. See ya.